Do you love the features of Facebook, but maybe you're falling out of love with Facebook itself? What if you could create your own version of Facebook right on your own website? I don't just mean embed Facebook content, I mean create your own private social network. Let's have a look at how to do this, either for yourself, or if you're a developer, how to do this for clients and charge $5,000. In this video, I review Easy Social, which is a social networking extension that runs on top of a Joomla powered website. The main reason you'd use this instead of Facebook is because it is yours. You own and control the data. Big Brother is not watching you. If you have a Facebook page, you already know how difficult it is these days to get your message seen by your audience as your posts are left to the mercy of the ever changing Facebook algorithm. If you're involved in an organization that requires a higher level of control and certainty, you should consider using your own social networking platform. Now, there are three major social network extensions in the Joomla world. The first that came along is Community Builder, which is almost as old as Joomla itself. This is a free extension that has a large user base. I've used both it and an optional paid membership add-on called CB Subs. If budget is an issue, then definitely give it a look. Now, after that came along a commercial extension called Jom Social, which really ramped things up in terms of features and presentation. After a while though, some staff left that project, leading to slower development and weaker support. Uh, it's since gone through two ownership changes and it's now part of the Joomla art world, so this might improve things. Now, in the meantime, another commercial extension called Easy Social arrived. This is developed by Stack Ideas, who's best known for the popular Easy Blog blogging extension. Easy Social is now in its sixth year and I'm reviewing the recently released version three. Now much of this review is simply a look at all the major features to help you determine if this is for you or if you're a developer, if you'd like to build these sorts of websites. So let's begin with a look at the sorts of features you'd expect to find on a social networking platform. It all starts with the profile. All the typical fields are here, and you have the ability to remove any that aren't relevant for your project. You can also create your own custom fields. Users can control the privacy settings to specify who can view each piece of information. There are also additional privacy settings that determine who can view the various content items published by a user. The main page displays your feed and unlike Facebook, you'll never miss a potentially important post because everything is displayed. If that's too much information, you can filter by user type and post type. Publishing your own content is pretty intuitive. Just select the content type. Write or upload. And then, if appropriate, select who gets to see it. Just be aware that unlike Facebook, if you upload a photo that contains EXIF data, this data will remain intact during upload and displayed in the theater mode. Depending on the device used to capture the shot, this may include location information, which may or may not be desirable for your site. This setting can be disabled, but on my test, it was enabled by default. When it comes to video sharing, you can allow a user to upload their own video to your server, but given that this could quickly chew up a lot of storage space, I suspect most will prefer to leave this option disabled and instead restrict users to adding a video link from one of the major video platforms. This results in the video being embedded into the user's stream. Also note that when it comes to other media such as photos, the site administrator can configure these to be stored on the local server or on an Amazon S3 account. 
Now, there are several use cases for a social networking site, but I think one of the best features has to be groups. A sporting club could have a group for each team. A church could have groups for each ministry. A Rotary Club could have a group for each project. A large business could use Easy Social as an intranet and have groups for each department. Groups are the perfect medium for private communication and collaboration. Given the wide range of potential use for groups, there are several levels of privacy. When creating the group, you can select public, public with moderation to join, private, and invite only. Pages is the next feature, and it can sometimes be unclear when to use a page and when to use a group. Groups are best used for many-to-many -many conversations. Pages are best used as a one-to-many conversation. However, there is some crossover. Groups have one or more administrators who can control the conversation when necessary, but generally groups are a platform where any member can have their say. Pages can also include user-generated content. However, the majority of the content tends to be published by the page owner. Pages work pretty much as you would expect. You can add content, including photos, videos, and emojis. Users can like, comment, or share content, which will appear in their activity stream, and their friends will see that activity in their feed. When creating pages, there are again privacy settings, including that the page is public, private, or invite only. One of the most versatile features is the events function. You can create a general event here or within a page or group. Now, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of options for events. You can specify a start and end date. There's an option to repeat an event. And there are RSVP options, which I'll demo in a moment. You can also specify an attendee limit, as well as various content sharing options, such as photo albums, discussions, and then videos, audios, files, etc. Now, just like pages and groups, uh, there are various privacy options available. Now, if the RSVP option is enabled, this will appear on the front end, just here. And this gives the users the ability to indicate if they're attending. Uh, their response will be shown on their profile, as is anything that they've added, such as a discussion or other content feature. Overall, the events section is really well designed, and I can see this being popular for everything from sports events to boardroom meetings. For those into the whole gamification thing, Easy Social includes a sophisticated points and achievements feature. Users can accumulate points for various actions throughout the extension, and certain actions attract badges, which are called achievements. In Administrator, you can manage how many points are added or deducted, and also change the threshold when achievements are awarded. As every use case is unique, the default fields available throughout Easy Social aren't always going to do the job. You can customize this in Administrator in the Workflows section. There are four areas, Profile, which is the user record, Groups, Events, and Pages. Let's say you want to manage the fields that are displayed for an event. Find the relevant event category and you'll see the existing fields displayed. You can delete a field, 
move it around or add a new field here. All the standard field types are here. And all you need to do is click one to add it to the form. Then drag it to your desired position. And click the edit icon to set parameters such as the title, along with other features that will vary based on the field type. You can, in this case, stipulate whether or not the field is visible in the form when the item is created or only during editing or both. In some cases, you can also make the field data searchable. There's even an advanced feature that allows you to only display a field if other field conditions have been met. And if your form is long, you might prefer to split up the data collection into pages, which is done up here. This feature is also available for the user record, so you can collect additional details about your users during registration. Note too that the administrator can enable a feature allowing users to register using Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Overall, Workflow is a sophisticated feature that provides excellent customization, so there's a good chance that you'll be able to customize it to your unique needs. Another big feature to mention is there are apps available that extend the functionality of Easy Social. Some of these are by Stack Ideas, and some are from third parties which may require an additional fee. Uh, one that caught my eye is J Ticketing, which allows you to collect payments for an event. There's now an ability to inject ads into the activity stream, providing an easy way for you to monetize your site. And I also noticed that Stack Ideas is in the process of creating a native smartphone app for use by developers. There are many more features that I haven't chosen to include uh, for the sake of time, but you can check out the demo on the Stack Ideas website for yourself. So overall, I love this extension, especially considering that it's powered by Joomla, which allows you to use this as a standalone solution or as part of a larger website. It's really hard to find anything negative to say, but I know some people will choke at the price, so let's discuss that. I, and many others, are quite happy to pay for an extension if it's good quality, well supported, and especially if it adds value to the project I'm using it for. Easy Social easily ticks each of these boxes. The design and function and versatility means it deserves a five out of five score, but not everyone shares the view that commercial extensions should be sold at a premium price, especially in the open source world. As at the time of this recording, Easy Social is $149, including six months of updates and support. You can install it on multiple sites, but support is only offered for a single domain. $299 buys you support for five domains and faster support. In terms of value, I think it's a bargain. Now, I did mention at the beginning that developers could charge $5,000 for Easy Social sites. I know this because I've done that. Uh, well, sort of. I built a site that had a number of functions, but Easy Social was at the heart of it. The client was a major Rotary Club, and although my fee wasn't 5K, they did say afterwards that this was their budget, and based on the result, they would have happily paid that amount. And that was back in 2012. So it's definitely possible to charge that amount if you target the right prospects, and if you sell the solution on the basis of the value that it's gonna provide. Your local church or sports club probably won't cough up that much. But larger organisations do have this sort of budget and they need help from people like you. So what do you think? Is Easy Social for you? Or if you're a developer, I'd love to hear if you can see yourself building these sorts of sites for clients. Or if you're already using this or a different social networking solution, tell me what you think of it. Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time.